Okay, for those who did not quite see what happened when we did that quick, strong, diluted, and concentrated um, demonstration, I'm doing it again here. So you can see we have three concentrations of hydrochloric acid, okay? We have two mole, we have one mole, and we have 0.1 mole, okay? And I already put some on the test tubes, okay? Uh, I made sure that it's the same amount, okay? Why should it be the same amount? Every time we do an experiment, it needs to be the same amount so that it's a fair test, okay? So I have some here and some here. Now, three different concentrations. How do we know that it's the same strength? Remember, weak and strong has something to do with the pH value, okay? Concentrated and diluted has something to do with the amount of water you mixed into the solution, okay? So I'm going to put some universal indicator, one, two drops, one, two drops, two drops, okay? Now let me shake it, okay? Now, what do you see? All three have the same color, whether it's 0 0.1, 1, or 2 moles, okay? They are the same strength, same pH value, okay? So now let's see the difference. So what we're going to do now, remember, this is 0 0.1, this is 1 mole, and this is 2 mole, okay? I'm going to add magnesium strips. Okay. So I'm going to put, again, the same amount of magnesium in each okay so this magnesium strips are cut same and size I want you guys to look at how okay fast or how slow the reaction is okay and when you get to year nine you will know one sign of reaction is fizzing okay another sign of a chemical reaction is the uh, when it produces heat okay so let's put some in the point one so i'm going to put three strips in point one okay there you go three strips and i'm going to cap it okay i'm going to put the same three strips okay in one mole and i'm going to cap it and i'm going to put the same amount okay three strips in the two. Now watch what happens. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. So you can see that this one popped first because we put the strips first. But it was if we put the same thing on, like if I pop this and put this on, okay, which one do you think would pop first? Look at the amount of fizzing. Look at the amount of fizzing in the three different test tubes. Okay. Let me put this closer to the camera. Okay, there is some bubbling, but not as much. Okay. Oops, did you see that one? Yep, so you can see, oh, point, sorry, in the one mole and two mole, look at that. The reaction is happening much faster, okay, and same here, okay. So what would happen if I just, you know, cap it with my thumb and see if I can and if you touch it I know some of you touched it this is very very warm I wish we had a good thermometer yeah this is not as warm and this one hardly any heat hardly any bubbles as well but there are bubbles you can see it okay now what I'm trying to do here I'm trying to collect um, some more hydrogen okay so I'm using my thumb to cap it so I can feel the air push. You can actually feel uh, when there's a lot of hydrogen already, okay? It, it pushes against your thumb. Again, when you get to year nine, you'll be able to do this experiment, okay? Okay. So as you can see, the, draw, the stopper went out twice already. So let's see if we can uh, generate as much it did before. I can kind of feel it so I'm just gonna light a splint here and let's see if we can test for hydrogen gas okay
Okay, not as loud as I wanted it to be, but I hope you heard it. There was a slight oop. So let's check now on this other one. Not so much yet, see? Here, if you look at this one closely, okay, where's my camera? Okay, there's not that much left of the metal anymore. Here, it's practically gone. Okay, you can't see it anymore. Here, it's like nothing happened so, to it. I hope that this helps you figure out the difference between okay, uh, weak, strong, diluted, and concentrated. Bye-bye. Study well for your test.